Imperial Valley's AM 1230 KXO, El Centro, California. I'm Kayla Burton with NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson's disciplinary hearing in front of former U.S. District Judge Sue Robinson concluded Thursday after three days, according to NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport. Post-hearing briefs from Watson and the NFL's representation are due the week of July 11th with a decision to follow. Trevor Lawrence believes his new head coach, Doug Peterson, will really help turn things around in Jacksonville. The second-year QB tells CBS Sports, quote, It's been great. Just the way he interacts with the team, the way he leads, we're building towards something special. The Rams, they have quite a duo at the wide receiver position in Cooper Cup and newly acquired Allen Robinson. Said Robinson via Rams Wire, quote, We both can do a lot of different things, and I think that gives us a tremendous advantage because it's not predictable at all to what either of us will be doing when it comes to a particular concept. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. All right, where are we going for breakfast? Uh, I kind of want a breakfast quesadilla. Oh, I didn't know they were doing quesadillas for breakfast these days. Well, Taco Bell is. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah, they have this Bell breakfast box now that comes with this breakfast quesadilla that's super cheesy and a hash brown. Okay, I wish I knew about this earlier. And it has cinnamon delights and a coffee in it. Why did I not know about this earlier? Try the new $5 Bell breakfast box, only at Taco Bell. I participate in U.S. Taco Bell locations during breakfast hours only, 7 to 11 a.m. for a limited time. Contact local store prices and participation with fair. Tax and extra drinks, food freezes. Summer is in full swing and the deals are heating up at Lowe's. Find 4th of July savings to keep your yard looking healthy the whole season. Protect your soil from the heat with a bag of Scott's Naturescapes mulch, now three for $10. And celebrate the 4th with our select two and a half quart red, white, and blue annuals, two for $10. Find more savings this 4th of July at Lowe's. Home to any budget, home to any possibility. About 623 through 76, while supplies last. Annuals offer in store only. Actual plant size and selection varies by location. Exclusive Alaska and Hawaii. Well, happy Friday to you. It is a Friday. It is the first day of July 2022. You know what that means, don't you, Gene? The first day of July. It means that tomorrow it'll be the second day. Well, it means, okay, we're into July, so we're halfway through the summer, right? That's right. Yeah, okay. Got to look on the bright side. Well, I just thought, you know, if we made it through the first day, well, the next day would be the Tuesday, or the uh, Friday that we're enjoying already this morning. We are. Every single day, it, it just gets better. Well, uh, Disney is uh, selling a $5,000 Kyber Crystal drink aboard its newest cruise ship. <laughs> 5000 bucks. Yeah, it, they call it the Disney Wish. Yeah, my wish is, you know, that you could still afford to go to Disneyland, but the cocktail is sold in the Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge. It's described as the galaxy's rarest and valuable cocktail. Disney has not revealed what the ingredients are of this pricey cocktail, but hey, you know, at 5000 bucks per shot, you know, it... It better, well, maybe include Mickey and Minnie and Donald and the whole gang. I'm just listening, uh, waiting for the other shoe to drop off. Yeah, and you know there's going to be somebody that's going to pay 5000 for it. Yeah, just so they can say, hey, I did. Yeah, yeah. It, was a, it was a weak moment. Yeah. Maybe two moments, I don't know. I, you know, what's it cost to go to Disney anymore? You know, a weekend will cost you ten grand if you stay at one of their hotels. Yeah, I was going to say four thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. <laughs> yes, you got the deal, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I yeah, got the discount. <laughs> I think you got the mine. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. well. Wow! 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 Anyway, hey, when our kids were little, we could afford that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. Uh, birthdays today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I, 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 pretty, you know, cute. And now 91, actor Leslie Caron, 91 years old today. You remember uh, the uh, TV show MASH? I do. Okay. Remember Corporal Klinger? Klinger? How could you forget Klinger? Yeah. Well, actor Jamie Farr. Corporal Klinger is 88. I can believe it. Okay. 
Actor Gene Marsh is 88. Dancer Twyla Tharp is 81. Actor Genevieve Bougeau is 80. Deborah Harry of Blondie, 77. Actor Trevor Eve, 71. Actor Daryl Anderson, 71. Singer Victor Willis of the Village People, 71. I don't know whether he's the cop or the Indian chief or the construction. I, I have he's no all idea. That's the... It's never been told, but he's no. all of them. Actor Dan Aykroyd is 70. Actor Lorna Patterson is 66. Alan Ruck, you may not remember the uh, name, but you remember the face. He was on Spin City, uh, was the, uh, the best buddy on Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Okay, <laughs> that's the only thing I recognize. There. Okay. I mean, Singer Ferris Bueller, that was quite a deep movie. Yes, Yes, singer Evelyn Champagne King is 61. Singer Michelle Wright, 61. Actor Andre Brewer is 60. Actor Dominic Keating, 60. Actor Pamela Anderson has made it to 55 somehow. Did you, did you say actress? <laughs> yeah, well, I use the term loosely. Uh, actor Henry Simmons is 52. Actor Julian Nicholson. 51. Actor Thomas Sadowski is 46. Actor Liv Tyler is 45. Actor Hilary Burton is 40. Actor Lee Sado is 37. Actors Stephen and Andrew Cavarno are 30. And uh, let's see, actor Storm Reed is 19. We've got local birthdays. Happy, happy birthday, Cappy. Join us as we celebrate. Clap your hands and dance around. Have a laugh and eat some cake. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. You're so great. It's your birthday, it's your birthday, it's your birthday. Hey, why not? Yay! Let's celebrate our first of July birthdays. Happy birthday, Michael Carrillo. Sandra De La Garza, Kyla Alvarez, Aaron Hunt, Ceci Villalobos, Norma Sosa, Socorro Antunez, Roman Sanchez, Peter Rodriguez, Sarah Padilla, Trini Zamoripa, Jorge De La Rosa, Charles Simpson, Justine Thompson, Lori Cardona, Michael Kirby, and Susie Avendano. Happy birthday from KXO. Okay. Who says big corporations don't have a heart? Okay. All right. You, you yeah. Try me. Yeah. The CEO of Bed Bath & Beyond is out after being dumped by the board of directors. Mark Tritton was let go after the company's losses increased by 600% this year. Hmm. Okay. Hey, but hey, big corporate has a heart. Yeah, Tritton will be okay for his severance. They gave him a pink slip, a shopping cart. And a big coupon, $5 off a $20 purchase at Bed Bath & Beyond. <sighs> you know, there could be truth to that. <laughs> yes. In this wild and quiet, wacky world uh, yes. that we live in. Okay. Uh, we've got news and uh, other good stuff. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're going to jump in with a look at World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist for sales for service. What? Your AC isn't cooling? Give your friend in the business a call. That's Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. CBS News Brief. More than 200 flights in the U.S. have been canceled at the start of the 4th of July weekend. Reported delays at almost 1,300, and it's expected to get worse. CBS News Travel Editor Peter Greenberg. Airlines have been canceling flights since the beginning of the week. Part of that is preemptive, trying to lessen the blows. But the reality is they're still flying an unrealistic schedule that they cannot support because they don't have the staff. A week after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, President Biden speaks with governors on the abortion issue. CBS's Scott McFarland. He has an early afternoon meeting with governors, mostly from states led by Democrats. In fact, all of them states led by Democrats who've moved to protect abortion rights. WNBA star Brittany Griner's drug trafficking trial underway near Moscow, and she tells a U.S. official she's keeping the faith. She'll need it. CBS is Charlie Dagana. The conviction against Griner is all but a slam dunk. Russian courts have a less than 1% acquittal rate. CBS News Brief. 
I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93 L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California Headline News. Millions of Americans are traveling for the holiday weekend, and many of those traveling by air are likely to encounter more delays because of an overwhelmed air travel system. The airlines just don't have enough staff, whether that's pilots, flight attendants, you know, curbside check-in people, uh, TSA security folks. I mean, everyone is short-staffed. And Henderson with the travel site, the Point Sky, a strike by some Delta pilots at seven airports complicating matters further. Evander Gavin Newsom furious over the U.S. Supreme Court ruling limiting the EPA's ability to regulate emissions from power plants. The idea that the U.S. Supreme Court moved to take away one of the most significant and historically powerful tools to address the ravages of climate change is incomprehensible. The high court ruling means the EPA can no longer have the authority to enact sweeping regulations to combat climate change. Gas tax increases today in the state. Drivers to pay about three cents more per gallon at the pump. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I'm asking about Prevnar 20 because there's a chance pneumococcal pneumonia could put me in the hospital. Age 65 or older, you may be at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. The most commonly reported side effect was pain at the injection site. For additional common side effects and full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. I want to be able to keep my plans. So I'm asking my doctor about getting vaccinated with Prevnar20. Well, it's page one of the local news. Page one of service of El Centro Motors Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. Before you head out on a uh, long weekend or a summer getaway, head into Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. They service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Taking a look at the latest in local news, it is a Friday morning. Active uh, COVID cases down slightly. Here's more with George Gale. The numbers are provided by the County Public Health Department. According to the new numbers released yesterday morning, there are 741 active cases of COVID-19 in Imperial County. That's down from the 786 cases reported on Tuesday. New cases per day per 100,000 population now at 37.80 with the positivity rate of 25.8%. Number of deaths attributed to the virus remain at 941. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. The county supports the passage of SB 125. The bill guarantees communities of Imperial County benefit from the development of lithium. The bill also ensures those profiting from the lithium development pay their equitable and fair share. The county says uh, with the passage of the bill and through an inclusive process, residents of Imperial County will see long-awaited and much-needed improvements to local infrastructure, public safety, environmental mitigation, and uh, the quality of life. The bill moved uh, on to uh, Governor Gavin Newsom's desk, where he has signed it. KXO News Time, coming up to 743. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers have the best price on name brand tires 
guaranteed. We're talking the finest names in tires, Michelin, Pirelli, Dunlap, Bridgestone, Continental, and more. Check the prices, then talk to your Quick Lane service advisor. He will give you the best price, guaranteed. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. They service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Quick Lane at El Central Motors, in the Brawley Auto Center, and now at the Imperial Valley Mall. In other local news, ballots for the June 7th primary have been counted. Here's more on that story. The unofficial results were released earlier this week. Results will become final once they are certified. Canvassing process is currently underway. Election code says the ballots must be uh, canvassed before they can be certified. State law says the ballot certification has to be submitted to the state by July 7th. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. City of El Centro wants uh, residents to be safe this holiday. They're reminding everyone of the amended fireworks ordinance. The ordinance was amended uh, recently to enforce and prevent use of illegal and dangerous fireworks uh, within the city limits. They also want uh, residents to know El Centro Fire and Police Departments will deploy additional personnel during the 4th of July holiday to help educate and enforce the amended ordinance. El Centro is uh, not the only uh, community that prohibits the use of illegal and dangerous fireworks. County also has a similar ordinance. Only safe and sane fireworks can be used to celebrate the Independence Day holiday. You can uh, check with Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or Instagram for more information. That concludes this edition of Local News, page two coming up. Page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with three locations to serve you at El Centro Motors, at the Imperial Valley Mall, and at the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive in Brawley. It's Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers ready to serve. Drop it like it's hot this summer at Cocopa Resort and Casino for your chance to win up to $1,000. We'll draw two winners each hour from 5 to 8 p.m. to drop a plink disc for rewards play and cash prizes every Wednesday and Saturday in July. You can earn entries starting July 1st daily by playing your favorite slots and table games with your rewards card. For complete rules, see the Cocopa Casino Rewards Club. We love our loyals at Cocopa Casino and Resort, South Highway 95 in Somerton. Page 2 of the local news and weather brought to you by the Town Pump in Westmoreland. They're open Tuesday through Saturdays at 4.30 and by Brownies Diner in Brawley open every day, 7 a.m until 3 p.m. Continuing with more local news, a woman is arrested in a meth seizure. Here's more in the story. It happened at the Klitschko port. 34-year-old woman with a valid border crossing card drove up to the port. Customs and Border Protection officers referred the vehicle to the secondary inspection area. CBP officers used a canine to search the vehicle. The uh, search resulted in the discovery of 99 packages containing over 122 pounds of methamphetamine. Packages were found in the vehicle's gas tank. Meth had an estimated the street value of over 219600 a woman, the vehicle, and the meth were all turned over to the ICE Homeland Security Investigations. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. You can fish throughout uh, California without a fishing license. According to the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, it's an opportunity to explore a new hobby. Free Fishing Day is also a time for people who used to fish uh, to come back to that activity. All fishing regulations, such as bag and size uh, limits, gear restrictions are all in effect, except the uh, need for the uh, the need for a license. Fish and wildlife regulations can be reviewed on the California Department of Fish and Wildlife website. Well, Independence Day weekend, we're coming up to it very quickly. 
Here's more on that story. It is one of the biggest holidays of the year. California Highway Patrol says they will go into their maximum enforcement at 6 p.m. tonight. It will continue to 1159 Monday night. Maximum enforcement is when the Highway Patrol schedules as many officers as possible to patrol the roadways. The uh, CHP says uh, they will be enforcing all traffic laws, but with a special focus on speeding and uh, driving under the influence. Seatbelt enforcement will also be a concern. CHP says last year during the uh, 4th of July weekend 43 people were killed in traffic collisions throughout the state. More than a third of those were not wearing their seat belts. During the uh, three-day weekend last year, Highway Patrol issued around 10,000 citations for traffic violations statewide. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. And if you haven't heard, a three-day weekend is coming up, the 4th of July weekend. It's one of the biggest uh, of the year. This year, there will be no public fireworks displays in Imperial County on the 4th. There will be a fireworks display, but it will not be on the 4th of July. The fireworks display will be uh, tonight in Calexico. It'll be part of the annual Grand Plaza Outlets Art Walk event. It runs from 7 till 11 p.m. July 1st with art, vendors, and a lot of entertainment. The fireworks are scheduled to begin at 9 p.m. Because of lingering pandemic issues, there will be no Freedom Fest and no fireworks in Calipatria this year. We'll be back with a look at the weather. When you're ready for great home-style cooking, there are two locations for the best in the Imperial Valley. Brownie's Diner, 990 Main Street in Brawley. Open seven days a week, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Featuring delicious breakfast and lunch entrees, including menudo, liver and onions, and meatloaf. The Town Pump in Westmoreland is open Tuesday through Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Specializing in delicious prime ribs, steaks, chicken, salmon, and lobster. So for a great dining experience, visit Brownie's Diner, 990 Main Street in Brawley, and the Town Pump in Westmoreland. Here's Carol Buckley with the weather update. According to the National Weather Service, there is still a minor risk for gusty outflow winds across the Imperial and Yuma Valleys today. For Saturday and Sunday, we'll see little to no rain chances, though a slight resurgence in moisture is possible for Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures will remain near normal through the holiday weekend, then trend up later next week. 108, the high yesterday, 81, our overnight low. Sunny today with a high near 109. Southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming west-southwest 10 to 15 miles an hour this afternoon. Winds could gust as high as 20 miles an hour. Clear tonight with a low around 80. West wind 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts as high as 25 miles an hour. Sunny on Saturday with a high near 107. West wind 5 to 15 miles an hour with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. Sunday, sunny with a high near 105. West wind 5 to 10 miles an hour with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. Monday, Independence Day. Sunny with a high near 104. West wind about 5 miles an hour, becoming south-southeast in the afternoon. 89 degrees, 33% relative humidity. Wind out of the west-southwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Page 2 of the local news and the weather brought to you by Brownies Diner in Brawley. Open every day and by the town pump in Westmoreland. Imperial Valley's fine dining experience. Baja Farms in Holtville has been farming for many years and takes pride in what they've accomplished with their operation. And now second generation of body boys are working with dad to continue the success of Baja Farms. Over the years, Baja Farms has supported their communities and youth of Imperial Valley from FFA to 4-H, youth sports, and academics. Baja Farms has been supporting youth and communities throughout the valley for many years. And here's a message from your friends at Baja Farms. Freedom is something money can't buy. And most honorable of all are the ones who defend it. So on this 4th of July, let's salute them and God bless America. And it's sports time. Sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. Major League Baseball action. Well, uh, the Dodgers did it again. Yeah, they beat the Padres 3-1. Joe Musgrove pitched well, but uh, the Dodgers uh, behind uh, Justin Turner uh, beat the Padres 3-1. 
Elsewhere, Mariners over the A's, 8-2-6. Cubs beat up on the Reds, 15-7. Blue Jays beat the Rays, 4-1. Pirates nipped the Brewers, 8-7. Astros shaded the Yankees, 2-1. Phillies beat up on the Braves, 14-4. And the Guardians, uh, they ran past the Twins, 5-3. Okay, at what point do they quit being the Big Ten? USC and UCLA, two of the Pac-12's flagship programs, have said uh, they're gone. Yeah, they're going to be part of the Big Ten. Big Ten has accepted uh, their applications. These schools will begin play in the conference in 2024. That means the Big Ten will now have 16 teams. Yeah, yeah, that's, well, that's the way they count in the Big Ten. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in health care and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Brawley and, of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all of Pioneers services, visit pmhd.org today. Rafael Nadell made it through to the third round of Wimbledon for the 11th time after getting past Ricardas Barrancas, 6-4-6-4-4-6-6-3. The second-seeded Nadell looked far from his best at times, but played well enough to win. Nick Curgios was fined $10,000 for unsportsmanlike conduct in his first-round Wimbledon victory. Curgios acknowledged at his news conference after that match that he spit in the direction of a spectator who he said was heckling him. And um, Lee Westwood and Ian Poulter are among 16 live golf players who have written to the DP World Tour asking it to rescind its fines and allow them to compete in next week's Scottish Open. The British golfers were among the European Tours members who were banned from three upcoming DP World Tour events and fined 100,000 pounds. That's about $121,000 in U.S. currency. They were fined after each played in the Saudi Arabia-backed Live Golf Invitational Series opening event in London. And uh, that's it. For uh, Sports Time, Sports Time, brought to you this morning by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Thank you for choosing Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. In today's highly competitive business climate, your company's image is important. The printed materials your company uses conveys a major part of that image. Our graphic designers have the talent and expertise to create a lasting impression for your business. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers virtually any type of business solution to meet your needs. From business cards and stationery to computer forms, full color brochures and posters. Let our excellent service and attention to detail provide the best impression for you. Locally owned and operated, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. Financial news and the weather, all brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. They offer 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Heil in El Centro. Well, Kohl's is no longer for sale. The department store announced today that it has ended its strategic review process and will no longer consider selling itself to Franchise Group, a holding company that owns the Vitamin Shop and other retail brands. Kohl's blamed extreme market volatility and said its finances are healthy enough to go it alone. Facebook owner Meta Platforms 
has cut plans to hire engineers by at least 30% this year, CEO Mark Zuckerberg told employees yesterday as he warned them to brace for a deep economic downturn. If I had to bet, I'd say that this might be one of the worst downturns that we've seen in recent history, Zuckerberg told workers in a weekly employee Q&A session. Meta has reduced its target for hiring engineers in 2022 to uh, around six to 7,000, down from an initial plan to hire about 10,000 new engineers, according to Zuckerberg. And a German citizen accused of defrauding investors out of $4 billion by selling a fake cryptocurrency called OneCoin has been added to the FBI's list of its 10 most wanted fugitives. Ruzha Ignatova, also known as Crypto Queen, was charged in 2019 with eight counts, including wire fraud and securities fraud, for running the Bulgaria-based OneCoin Limited as a pyramid scheme. Prosecutors say the company offered commissions for members to entice others to buy a worthless cryptocurrency. Dow Jones right now off 150 points. S&P 500 is down 15. The Nasdaq off 45. Gold down $5 an ounce. Oil up $2 a barrel. And add uh, another three cents in California taxes to what you pay for gasoline today. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been providing private security locally for more than 20 years and have owned Southwest Security for more than six and a half years. I'm proud to announce that we have over 250 employees working here in Imperial and Coachella Valley. Last year, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. P.O. Box service to you. Also located at Southwest Security at the corner of 4th and Heil in El Centro. If you're in the need for security services, please call us at Southwest Security at 760-970-4500. That's 970- It'll be sunny today with a high near 109. Southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming a west-southwest 10 to 15 this afternoon. Look for gusts up to 20 miles an hour. 90 degrees, 31% relative humidity. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services. Southwest Security offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. At Burgers and Beer, our customers are like family. Let's hear what a few of them have to say about us. They have great weekday specials. I like the friendly environment, the friendly staff, the cold beer, and the best weeks in town. Burgers and Beer, what I like about Burgers and Beer, the menu, everything on the menu is great. I'm working my way through the menu. My favorite thing right now is the grilled tuna chipotle sandwich. That's what I had yesterday, and it was delicious. So come and see us and find out for yourself at Burgers and Beer. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. News on the hour, presented by Dell. I'm Steve Kathan. Travel woes threaten a holiday weekend. Already there have been dozens of flight cancellations, more than a thousand delays at the country's airports. This woman in Philadelphia is trying to get to Kansas City. I actually was supposed to fly out yesterday and it got canceled. So I'm a little anxious about what's going to happen today. Millions of others are hitting the highway or just staying home. For some, the holiday weekend means either getting out of town or kicking back near home with friends and family. Going to friends' houses in Connecticut. I think I'll be spending it with my family, probably outside in the backyard. Just going to try to enjoy the bus and pops and the fireworks. These folks are also planning to do a lot of driving. However, they're on the clock. We're, we're truck drivers, so oh, okay. we're bringing you your toilet paper. <laughs> so, thank you. I thank you for that. we got to bring the food. You bring the food so they can take it to you. Bring you your beer. There you go. And a big thank you for that. James Rojas for CBS News, Boston. A U.S. official says that Brittany Griner says she's keeping the faith. CBS is Charlie Daggett says the basketball star's Russian trial got underway today. Court officials tell CBS News this morning it's unclear how long the trial will take. It could be weeks or months, but a conviction against Griner is all but a slam dunk. Russian courts have a less than 
president's acquittal rate. President Biden meets in a few hours with governors who back abortion rights. CBS's Peter King has the story of one state where most abortions are banned. Arkansas's Republican Governor Asa Hutchinson says he's told his health and human services agencies to find ways to beef up their services for pregnant women. For example, prenatal care and this. Some of those uh, moms will put the child up for adoption, so we're going to have to increase our adoption services. Some state lawmakers want to make it illegal for women to go out of Arkansas for an abortion. Hutchinson tells CBS Mornings there's a practical reason that that won't happen. That would be in violation of interstate commerce. In a regulatory filing, General Motors admits the computer chip shortage forced it to build 95,000 vehicles over the last three months without certain components. The automaker hopes to finish them and sell them to dealers by the end of the year. Cape Cod, Massachusetts, one of the top vacation spots. Scientists have reported sharks offshore about a dozen times over the past week. This beach-going mother is keeping her eyes open. I would probably just put my toes in and just that's about it. I wouldn't want my kids swimming in the water right now. The potential sale of the retailer Kohl's to the owner of Vitamin Shop and other outlets is off now after a month of talks. Wall Street, right now the Dow is down 172 points. The S&P is down 18 this is CBS News. Dell's Black Friday in July sale is here with savings on top-rated business computers with Intel Core processors. Upgrade today by calling 877-ASK-DELL. Driving happy with Caprice Car. Driving happy with Caprice Car. You're driving home when, oh no, you hit the longest red light in town. What's this? You're smiling because your car smells amazing. You just installed a Febreze car vent clip. Ha <laughs> ha! Five weeks ago, with up to 40 days of consistent Febreze scent, those lights can stay red for as long as they drive. Green happy Febreze, la 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 la. Looking good, Mrs. Dobbs. The head groundskeeper at Thad's Golf Course just retired. We need to find someone in the next two weeks. Someone with botany and management experience. He needs a replacement because the greens are already looking a little up. Aeration, they need to know it all. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Earn up to $500 in sponsored job credits by interviewing on Indeed. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Terms and conditions apply. Russia is complaining over special recognition for a Ukrainian dish. UNESCO has put BT Borscht on its list of endangered cultural heritage. The group says the war is threatening Ukrainians' ability to grow the vegetables they need to make it. Russia has its own version, Borscht that ends with a T. The foreign minister there calls the new classification xenophobia. Ukraine's culture minister proclaims his country has won the Borscht War and it will be victorious in the military war as well. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. One death and about two dozen hospital cases have been linked to a listeria outbreak in this country. The CDC has not identified the food that might be spreading the bacteria. What is known is that all the people live in Florida or at least travel Traveled there a month before they got sick. I'm Steve Kathan, CBS News. Carol Buckley. Everybody's talking about you. Carol Buckley. You're the talk of the town. 